So my name is Etienne. That's one T and two N's and an E at the end. My mommy made very specifically sure that it is spelled the French way. <laughs> so French it is way. Etienne. <laughs> that is actually how you are pronouncing my name. Uh, Etienne. Uh, Etienne. Etienne, which is also meant to be for Stefan, which means crown. <laughs> So, so, so my name, my, my mom gave me because she loved the Afrikaans writer. I get, you know, so, so she loved it. And so the significance it has for me is that it was the first gift my parents gave me. And it was something that I, I, wow, I, I, I didn't really understand it's or, again, again. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's, it's, you, you see the complication The complications we find when we navigate our identity is rooted in a history of sometimes forgotten people. People that, for lack of a better ter term, were marginalized and hunted down and haven't been recognized. And a lot of us, we know that we talk about the Khoisan and we talk about the Khoi and the Bushmen, and the, but we we forget something that we all understand is that it's the first people that had to come from some. And knowing that my name was gifted to my parents, it's like, despite whatever it is that happened, they took time. They were like, you know, even if, if even when I ask my mom, like when I hear her tell the story about my birth and like finding out, like, guess what, you're, you're, you're a young girl, you're going to be a mama. It's it's phenomenal to think that you'd still take the time to choose what your child's name would be. So, so I think it is it's deeply rooted in my duty in service of those before me, because they selflessly, even though you know, oh, but I didn't choose my name, I didn't choose my religion, I didn't choose my circumstances, I forced me to that stuff, bro. Like uh, it was my. It's like yeah, but you know, like you need a name. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like, but can you please put the on the uh, it, it, you, it, it, because that gives it acknowledgement you recognize it 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 almost becomes real um so so i i mean i find it difficult especially like i said it's complicated when we talk about our, our, our relationship with our parents because it's still so deeply rooted in our history of where we come from but it's good for me it, it's been great for me it's helped me especially when i was navigating uh um sort of like corporate space because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a, a very well articulated brown man with a, with a bit of an education, and yes, boy. And, and you know, I, I'm not afraid of a challenge, and I'm ready to work, and I'm, it's my, 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 my inquisitive mind, and the fact that I don't understand it entirely, and then I lean into my intuition, um, that allows me to. We're talking about intuition. Yeah, yeah, right. That allows me to sort of like navigate these spaces where I even find myself. I'm like, yo, um, hey, listen, myself. <laughs> what are we doing here <laughs> how do we get here and then it's this huge revelation and like in those spaces where i go to operate like etienne the way somebody mispronounces it it's like a way to uh to they say well you see my name is actually from the front of it. it it breaks that um connection to what somebody might have pre-positioned as an idea of who i might be just by who they see i mean i'm very uh, for those on the view, they can see like I. Uh, if you would have to see me, you would probably imagine on the podcast to help you understand visually. It would be like you'd understand if I was sitting here and you'd be hearing me speak, <laughs> and you know yeah. I'd be saying, "No, you know, Olivia, I'm grateful <laughs> to the most high if I give them an opportunity and for D. Definitely want to make space because of the fact that I have oh, dreadlocks sense. and like the disassociation because of the lost knowledge that you know the Bushmen, the Tom, the Sand people. I mean. I mean, this is this is part of the same same. Uh, it's not just always the, and then it's like, oh, now I've got an opportunity to be like, I am not just what you think I am. Yeah, I can actually introduce myself. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I'm grateful to my parents for that name. So I just keep carrying it, even if it's ATM. Sometimes I'm like, yes, ATM, my comrade. That's my, but my surname is Zero Balance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.